Hi. So let's talk a little bit about control systems. We've been talking about automation and what that means. So now what I'd like to do is take a little bit of a look at, you know, how we've moved forward. So you've looked up what is automation, what are the elements, what are some advanced features. Then I've talked about why we use automation. So let's talk about control systems associated with that automation. We basically have two types. And depending on how you look at these, you can say that both of these, all right, function automatically. So we can say that both open loop and, that's a horrible arrow by the way, and closed loop function automatically. All right. Closed loop does it in terms of it has feedback. All right. A open loop does not have feedback and said operates on the timer. A closed loop may also have timer. Okay, so we can have both of these. All right. But an open loop only has a timer. So now let's look at really what the definition of this. Open loop is a control system without feedback. Okay? And what is the case with closed loop? Closed loop is a control system that has feedback, right? And feedback is the operative word here, right? And feedback can come from a variety of sources, but Closed loop is a control system that has feedback. Open loop is a control system that does not have feedback. All right. So now let's look a little bit of what this looks like. All right. So if we kind of make a chart here of control systems, and we say that the complexity increases as we go up this. So we would have the first thing as we started at the bottom would be no control system. Then as we moved up, the next layer would be open loop. Then the next layer would be a closed loop system. All right. The least complex, all right, and there are going to be a wide variety of control systems here under closed loop. All right, the least complex here would be what's called on-off control. But then there are going to be a lot of other ones kind of all jumbled up and we're not going to try to rank them in levels of complexity necessarily, but we would have PID control, PI, feed forward, Let's see, uh, let's think of some other types. We might have, um, oh, I'm totally drawing a blank this morning. We might have ratio control. We, and so we might have um, 
digital position control. We might have just integral. So there are a lot of other closed loop control systems. Um, what I want you to focus on here is that we basically have no control system, then we have open loop control. Then as complexity increases, we have closed loop control systems. And now the least complex of that would be on off control. And then after that, we would have all these other types of control systems. All right, so this is a little introduction to control systems. And I hope this helps you understand the difference between open and closed loop control.